All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at an interesting spell card. I, I'm going to say interesting, but I'm just not sure if anybody will play it just because of what it entails. But uh, it's still, still a worth to look at. So today we're looking at Gate of the Magical Contract. It is a normal spell. It's literally just one sentence, but in the sentence there's a lot to think about. So add one spell card from your hand to your opponent's hand. Then add one level 7 or... Eight dark monster from your deck to your hand. So uh, let's get the, the the big elephant out of the room right now. It's a neg one, obviously. Uh, you play it. You're gonna go ahead and give your opponent a spell card from your hand to their hand. Therefore, you're losing two cards in your hand to then search. So neg one. It's a neg one. Uh, the whole spell card thing that that can be interesting. You know, of course, you're not gonna give them. Uh, hopefully anything that they can use, you know, you're not going to be like, oh, here, have this for Gacky, yeah, get, get, take it, take it, you know, yeah, sure, you know, so, maybe something more specific to your archetype that hopefully your opponent can't use, I mean, if you're a mirror match, and then, you know, fuck you, but, uh, you know, maybe, you know, for example, um, you know, I'm playing Monarchs, you know, I'm playing Monarchs, and you're playing Cosmos. I go ahead and activate this card. Sure, I'll go ahead and give you a, a march. <laughs> you know, I'm not a, you know, a, a, you know, march of the monarch. I'm not gonna use this. So you get the march. You know, unless you're planning on doing some tribute summoning, which I guess Cosmos can do. You know, I've seen you know tribute summoning a slip right here at times. But mostly, eh, you know, it's not it's not the greatest card you can give to your opponent. And then. You know, I get to go ahead and add a level 7 or 8 dark monster from my deck of your hand. Oh, that's a simple Erebus right there. So, uh, there is some targets you can search for. You know, you can search for Erebus. You can search for Gank Destroyer. So, that's pretty power. Shit, you can search for Dark Arm if you want to. So, uh, I mean, a card that can search Dark Arm, usually that's frowned upon. But, hey, you know, it's it's doable. You know, you can search for Dark Magician. You can search for Demok. You can, there's, a, there's a handful of cards, you know, level 7 or 8 Dark. That's not too restrictive. And, you know, I totally don't think you would mind giving your opponent's spell card to add, a, you know, like a Dark Destroyer or like a, like a Dark Arm to your hand, depending on what you're playing. So that's not terrible. It's just, you know, it's an egg one, you know? Uh... It just sucks that you play this. You gotta give the spell card, and as I said, just just don't give them anything too generic. That's too flexible, you know. Uh, for example, you know, I'm playing Cosmos. You're playing Monarchs. I play this, and I give you terraforming. That I usually search my chicken. I mean, my chicken game. Hello, my Cosmo Town. No one's searching for chicken game with chicken terraforming in the TCG. Uh, I give you. Go ahead and give you my uh, my you know my uh, my terraforming, and you're like, all right, well, terraforming, grab domain, you know. So. Uh, of course, uh, while you are the control of the card, I'm still the owner, so when you play the spell card, it will go to my graveyard. So if there's anything to do with shenanigans when it comes to spell cards in my graveyard, you know, I'm playing Magician of Faith in my Cosmos because I'm bad, then of course I can't grab that spell card out of the graveyard, but... Um, it's, like I said, it's not a terrible card, it just depends on what spell you give them and, you know, what level 7 or 8 Dark Monster you're adding from your hand, but still it's a neg one, and... I uh, just not, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but just the fact that you can search Dark Arm or Dark Destroyer. I mean, that that's 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 power in itself. So yeah, but I don't think anybody's gonna run it just because it's a neg one. You know, the only thing I gotta give you a spell, but I you know no, I'm gonna neg on neg one anyway. So no thank you, no thank you. So uh, go ahead in the comment section below. Go ahead and tell me, uh, you know, whether you would think that running this card would be okay you know especially uh depending on what dark monster you really want to grab i mean if you really want to grab dark destroyer i mean i can i can see that i can see that you know uh, it might work better in a deck that could probably build up resources quicker maybe like extra deck monarchs just because you know the deck can easily build up resources really well so maybe them but uh you know i don't know i don't know it's just you know like for example you're playing in a deck that runs rank up magic the seventh one uh, you open it in your hand, you're like, fuck, I can't do anything with this. Gates of the Magic Contract. Here, have this, uh, make up Magic the Seventh one. And they're like, oh, thank you. I guess I'll go ahead and, you know, pitch it to go into my Utopic Dragon. You're like, fuck you. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I haven't done a card review on this card, uh, but Suppression Pluto, you know, the card that, uh, 
you know, you call something in your opponent's hand, you get to go ahead and take it. And pretty much you can use this card, search for Pluto, then you summon Pluto, activate the threat, declare the card that you gave your opponent, and you know, the spell card. You're like, yeah, give that back, you know? So, eh. <laughs> that's actually kind of cute. That's actually kind of cute, but, uh, yeah, I mean, Chaos Max, uh, Mega Caius, Erebus, Chaos Hunter, well, if Chaos Emperor was legal, you know, in the TCG, you could search for Chaos Emperor, but you search for some DDD cards, uh, there's a nice chunk of cards that you can actually search for, so, it's just, is it worth it, you know, is it worth it, that is definitely the question, you can search for, like, just, you know, Plasma, I'm just going down the list, just going down the list, making this a little bit longer, you search for Gores, you know, but then your opponent would definitely know you have a Gore, you can search for Grapha and Dark Worlds, but you could probably get that on your own, you know. Uh, you can search for, who else, who else? Yeah, just go ahead and show me, I'm just gonna go down the list, go down the list, and talk about anything interesting here. Some Malefic cards wouldn't be terrible. You know, you could search for, like, Malefic Blue Eyes or Malefic Stardust, so, you know, you can search for Odd Eyes, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, you can search for... Ew, you can search for Sky Scorch Norales and then drop that fool. Like, who cares? Like, you're gonna lose everything in your hand anyway, so, you know, fuck you. <laughs> uh, that'd, that'd be a dick move. Just be like, oh, give me that. Hey, you can have this. I'm gonna Sky Scorch. Sky Scorch? Like, get rid of that card. You don't need it. And then some of the, uh, the Pendulum Magicians. Even though know I don't think that's right. Oh, yeah, it's seven. Seven or eight. Yep, yep. So you can search, like, Yen Key Magician. So, there you go. But give them, like, like, Pendulum Call. Why the fuck would you ever do that? And you can give them the Pendulum Call, and then you can search for a Yankee Magician. Ooh, so good. So, like I said, in the comment section below, tell me, would you ever consider playing this? You know, is it worth it? Is it worth giving your opponent a spell card, whether it be, you know, a very flexible generic spell card, or maybe things to it and they can't even play it? Do you search for a level 7 or 8 Dark Monster? I mean, like I said, being able to search for Dank Destroy and Dark Arm? Mm-hmm. That is it worth it. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review, so thanks for watching, check out support, and uh, yeah, see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.